In this video, I'll be showing four different ways to stretch carpet using some of the most common tools out there for this type of work. You'll be able to see how each tool is used, how well each tool performs, and which is the best tool to use for the job. Let's start with the power stretcher head using poles. This is definitely without a doubt the best tool to use for stretching carpet. I bought mine brand new for about $500 but they're going for about 700 now. Once the stretcher is set up, it is almost effortless to use to stretch the carpet as tight as it can get. Now I'm just locking the carpet onto the tack strip to hold the stretch and I'll do that for the other areas too before cutting. Next is the most common method and cheapest tool to use, the knee kicker. This method is definitely cheap for a reason. You trade the money you save on buying a power stretcher for the wear and tear on your body over time. While some people say they can install just as well using a knee kicker, I just don't see the benefit of breaking down your knees instead of using a power stretcher. Knee kickers can be as cheap as $40 up to $160 depending on what brand you get. Next is the Gunlick 737 stretcher hook or the infamous carpet spike. This goes for about $70 and gets a lot of hate because it pokes through the carpet and into the subfloor as an anchor to stretch the carpet. Now I would never use this when installing new carpet, but for restretching jobs, it does come in handy in certain situations. They also make a double carpet spike that goes for about $120. And last, I'm using the Gunlick 711 Big Squeezy. I sold my Crane 514 mini stretcher because I just think they're garbage and here you can see this tool does not work well for stretching carpet either. It's too far from the wall and you still have to use a knee kicker to kick the carpet bubble onto the tack strip. This tool is better used to repair seams or match a pattern on carpet. This tool goes for about $600 but Crane has a new 515 mini stretcher with the 519 extension legs for about $450 total if you do a lot of seam repairs. I really don't recommend using these tools for stretching carpet. Now I'll go ahead and trim some of the excess carpet in each different place that I stretched so you can see which tool pulled the carpet the tightest. Looks like the 711 Big Squeezy pulled about 5 eighths of an inch, the 737 Carpet Spike pulled about 3 quarters, the knee kicker pulled about three quarters, which is surprising, and the Crane 500 power stretcher pulled an inch and a quarter. So that's why I say using a power stretcher head with poles is the best tool to use when stretching carpet.